Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to sign SMMA clients during coronavirus. Now, there's gonna be four parts to this video. In the first section, we're gonna be talking all about platforms. What type of platforms should you be tapping into for the maximum return on your time investment and to land the most meetings? Number two is messaging. What type of messaging should you have to match up with the current social landscape and to really just have sensitivity to obviously the, the very challenging and uncertain times that we are all going through. Number three, the call to action. What should you actually be offering your prospects to get them to jump on a call with you and to discuss you helping them out with their advertising? And number four, just the overall goal that we are going for. What is that overarching objective that we are going for with our outreach during coronavirus crisis? I'll show you guys not just how to survive as a social media marketing agency owner if you already started your SMA, but also thrive in this uh, challenging and uncertain times. And also, if you haven't started your SMA, really answer a lot of questions and doubts that I've been getting uh, lately, which are, should I start social media marketing agency even during this uh, these just challenging times? Uh, is it even worth it? Can I still sign clients, et cetera, et cetera. So really excited for this video and let's get right into it. Now, the first thing is the platform. So whenever you're doing outreach as an agency owner, you have to ask yourself, what is the typical day right now for my prospects in my niche, right? And so just think, what does their typical day look like? And what I can show you guys is these are very busy times and very stressful times for a lot of business owners, right? They will probably be constantly on the phone with their vendors, with their factories, with their fulfillment centers. They are probably constantly going back and forth via email with you know different vendors, different service providers, different like logistics teams, et cetera, et cetera. So knowing that and knowing that they're probably stressed out uh, on those platforms and that they're probably attending to bigger matters, which is keeping the business alive and potentially even surviving this challenging times. You also have to think right now, they're probably locked in at home, right? In quarantine. And as, as you guys probably know, and probably in your case as well, everyone is just spending more time on social media. There's never been more eyeballs on social media, which is also a reason why uh, advertising costs are down uh, because there's more demand, right? And there's less supply. But my point is, there's never been more eyeballs on social media. And so your business owners are probably hanging out on social media a lot more than they used to, right? They have just more home time. They, they probably are with their family a lot more, et cetera, et cetera. So instead of just focusing purely on email or cold call, right? Or those platforms that they're using currently for, just to keep their business afloat, consider the social media avenue, right? Consider the social media avenue because they're probably spending way more time than they, they usually do on those platforms and you can actually get in front of them and actually have receptiveness from them on those platforms. And that is what I recommend. That's what I've been testing over the past few weeks. And I've seen better results on social media than email simply because your email is probably gonna get lost in their inbox. Uh, because another thing that I, I didn't mention is they're also talking to their team members much more via email, maybe Slack, but a lot, of, a lot of the communication is probably taking place via email because they can't meet physically, right? So all that communication is taking place online via email. And so that is why I've seen just much better returns on social media. And it's an avenue that you guys should really consider uh, if you haven't tapped into yet to find the business owner on social media and to start a chat there. The second thing is the messaging, right? So you need to tailor the messaging to match up with the current social landscape. I see a lot of people that haven't changed their messaging to match up with the social landscape. And not only are you not gonna get results, but you're probably gonna get a bunch of angry emails thrown your way. Because people right now are not thinking about the money they're leaving on the table right? They're thinking about how to actually deal with this crisis, right? How to actually deal with the situation and then survive and potentially even come out stronger, right? And so instead of being the, the kind of like cocky, confident, you know, to an extent even a bit arrogant, um, if you guys have that tone in your emails and if it has worked for you in the past, instead of doing that, change the, you're leaving a lot of money in the table or this is a massive opportunity that you are passing on. Instead of doing that, Talk to them about how to deal with this crisis. Talk to them about how to even come out stronger um, out of these challenging times, right? So it's, it's all about the messaging. It's all about switching up the actual tone of your emails, your, your uh, messages um, to match up with the current social landscape and to address their fears. Right now, they're not thinking about how to actually maximize their profits or how to actually maximize their bottom line. Because yes, for our clients, we're getting better returns than ever. And yes, there's an incredible opportunity right now. They're literally not able to see that, right? Because they have other stuff in their mind. So, so it's all about meeting them where they're currently at and then addressing those fears, addressing those pain points and providing a solution to that, right? So that is the second thing, the messaging. The third thing is the call to action. What is the whole point of our outreach, right? And what I strongly recommend you guys do is you don't go for the typical discovery call or the consultation call where, you know, we all clearly know that it's gonna end in the sale. It's gonna end in pitch, right, for your services. What I recommend you guys do instead is you pivot 
and you offer a complete free consultation, not the typical, you know, hey, let's jump on a call uh, and let's discuss further and then you actually pitch them your service, right? I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about, hey, let's jump on a call. Let me troubleshoot your problems. Let me add as much value as I possibly can to your current situation. And that is that, right? Don't even try to force it because once you give, 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 the law of reciprocity is gonna take care of you, I can assure you. It might not be on that call, but it will be later and you should be happy with that because quite frankly, if you had gone for the discovery call at the start, you wouldn't have probably even had the meeting in the first place, right? So it's all about starting that conversation with the business owners. It's not just about closing them on the call. It's about starting those conversations. And if you don't close them on the call, don't beat yourself up because that is not the goal of our outreach in these times. And that actually leads me to the final point, which is the goal of the outreach. And look, there's going to be prospects that are ready to jump on and start the service now because they're literally, you know, they see the massive opportunity already. They see it. They're ready to invest on someone who can get it done and grow their business during this time and times and come out even stronger. But that is not really the goal right now, right? Because most people are not receptive to that possibility, right? If your house is on fire right now, right? You're not thinking about adding like new cool furniture. You're just thinking about putting the fire out, right? So the same thing right now, the goal of the average is not to pitch as many clients as we possibly can. It's all about jumping on as many calls as we possibly can, adding as much value to business owners as we possibly can in our niche, right? Become this authority that has really just gone above and beyond for the, the niche so that when coronavirus goes away, which should be actually, you know, in the upcoming weeks or months, potentially, hopefully uh, as well, you are the first person that they go to because they've built trust already, right? They, they see you as an authority. They see that you've taken the time to help them out in times of crisis. So they're going to reciprocate that uh, and hire you for advertising. So that is the whole goal. I'm not saying you're not going to be able to sign clients. Look, I've got students signing clients during the times of, of crisis. going down on outreach and it's going, going really, really well, even despite the corona crisis going on, you know, so can't be any more happy um, with Jaime's uh, with Jaime's mentorship. And Even myself, support. I'm about to close a pretty big line in the upcoming weeks. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's pretty much you know done uh, at this point. But we actually have our, our third touch point on the 20th of April, so I don't I don't know when this will come out. But that's what I want you guys to keep in mind. Yes, it's possible that you know you jump on this free consultation where you're just providing as much value as you possibly can. They have good cash flow. You know things are going well for them, and then they hire you for advertising. But if they don't, don't beat yourself up because when coronavirus is over, you're going to be the first person that they think of when they want to do advertising on Facebook and when they're actually ready to implement all the stuff that you gave them on the free consultation call that you had. So that is the way that I would personally approach outreach uh, in the coronavirus crisis. And these are things that I've split tested over the past few weeks. One of the things that I take great pride in, uh, guys, is that I'm not going to give you this bluff that, that hasn't been battle tested. I've literally tried both end of the, the spectrums uh, just to you know relay information to you guys and also for my uh, own uh, testing and for my own success in my agency. And what I can tell you is the stuff that I covered in this video is the stuff that I've seen work over the past few weeks, right? So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any questions, any comments you may have. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and check out the free masterclass I've put together for you guys. If you haven't joined also the free private mentorship community on Facebook, The Client Closers. As always, hope you're healthy, hope you're well. I hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.